Let's draw a lovable lion. This week, our animal is letter L, lion. A male lion, I'll be teaching you a little bit about him as we begin. Now, before we start, we're gonna gather up a couple items. First thing you're gonna need is a piece of paper. I use the paper that comes out of the printer, but if you have something nicer, that's fine too. You're also gonna need a pencil, an eraser, and something for outlining. As you know, I use a black colored pencil each time, but a marker would work fine as well. Lastly, you're gonna need something to color with. Now I use these jumbo crayons because I have them laying around the house, but if you have colored pencils or markers, those will work also. So I want you to pause the video, go gather those items, and then meet me back here and we'll begin. Okay, so if you're back, you've gathered your items. Now, you wanna make sure that you have something underneath your paper before you start. A stack of other pieces of paper or some magazines, something so that there's not any other uneven surface underneath your paper. Once you're ready, then we'll begin. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is turn our paper horizontal, which means long, this direction, not tall, but long. And we're gonna find the center and make a dot with our pencil. Remember, I'll be using a marker, but you're using a pencil. So we're gonna take a dot right in the middle, and that dot is gonna help us center our lion. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is looking at this beautiful picture of this lion, the center of the paper is right here, and that's the center of the top of his head. So we're gonna form a circle to make the top of his head. So around here, I'm gonna be forming about a medium-sized circle. We don't wanna make it too big because we gotta save room for his beautiful mane. So the first part is to form a circle. I'm gonna hover my hand over the paper before I lay down my circle. And then I'm gonna very gently lay down a circle around that dot, saving room for ears and the mane up at the top. Next. Underneath that circle, I'll be making an oval for his muzzle. You might remember we did this with our bear drawing and also our jaguar drawing before. So here is my dot in the middle. Now from here, I'm gonna be forming an oval that's standing tall. Now it doesn't need to be very big, it's just a medium sized oval right here in the lower portion that intersects the circle. All right, once you have formed that oval down here for the muzzle, then we're going to go in and erase this part of the circle. We don't need this part anymore. You're using your eraser. I'm going to just use my finger because I'm doing it on the whiteboard. Next, we're going to come down and draw a very light line, as light as you can, straight down the middle of the circle and across the middle of the circle this direction. Now make sure this line is very light. So once we've drawn this line that goes down here and across, that little plus sign is gonna help us to center his eyes. So what we're going to do now is form the top, the bridge of his nose. So right here on the edge of this oval, I'm gonna draw a line that comes up and the line that comes up right here. This is gonna form that wide bridge to his nose. We have a narrow bridge on our nose, but they have a much wider bridge. Once you form that bridge, we're gonna make the arch of the top of his eye. So from here, I'm gonna curve it up and around and over. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, up and around and over. You wanna make sure that your eyes are about the same size. So you wanna check by putting your finger underneath that arch and making sure that it's the same size on both sides. Now at any time, if I'm going to quickly, just pause the video and then do what you need to do, erase what you need to erase and then push play again. Next, we're gonna form the eyeball underneath that arch. So right here where that dotted line is, I'm gonna form a large circle that fills in that space. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, a large circle that fills in the space. Okay, from here, I'm gonna make a little point that points down, it's curving down from underneath the eye and it's curving down 
underneath the eye. If you notice, the lion has this little part right here that's dark. It almost looks like his eye is painted with eyeliner around the side. So we want to make sure we get that nice dark line right there. And then we're going to fill that little corner in with our pencil. Now we're going to connect that edge of his eye right here. And we're going to form a little point here and here. And we're going to fill that space in also with our pencil. Looks quite dramatic right now, but don't worry, it'll make sense in a minute. The next thing we're gonna form is his pupil. So his pupil is just going to be a medium size half circle right up here at the top, and a medium size half circle up at the top. And you'll notice I'm leaving a white shiny light in the middle. We need that light, that's gonna help our lion to have a little twinkle in his eye. All right, now once you've done that, we're gonna come up above his eye, we're gonna form an eyelid. So right above that eye, we're gonna form an eyelid on both sides. And then we're gonna add one extra line right here and here, just to continue that bridge of his nose. All right, now, you're probably wondering why we have this dotted line right here in the middle. Don't worry, it will make sense in just a minute. We're gonna use that to help us form his nose and his mouth. So right here where the bottom of the circle used to be, this is where we're gonna form his nose. So right underneath this line that used to be the bottom of the circle, we're gonna form his nose by making a wide V. Now the bottom of the V right here is going to line up with this dotted line. Well, I drew a dotted line. You have a soft line. So once we draw that wide V here, across the top, we're just going to form a straight line for now. We're going to change it in just a minute, but just form a straight line. We're going to add a small hole here and here for his nostril. Just make a little curved line and fill it in with your pencil. Not real dark, just a little line for his nostril. And then we're gonna erase the line inside of his nose here and here. And then we're gonna add a little curve here and here on the side of his nose. If you notice up here, there's a little, kind of like a fold on the edge of his nose. Once you've done that, now we're going to round a little bit of the edge of the top of the nose here and here. Just round it slightly and erase the old line, which was straight. All right, we've formed his nose now. Now we can erase this portion right here. And we can erase the top of the oval. We don't need this anymore. We also can erase the line in the center. We don't need that anymore. But I want you to leave this light line right here and stop it right between his eyes. You can see there's a little wrinkle in his head right here. We're going to use that to help us to shade his nose later and his forehead. All right, underneath his nose, from here down, we're going to draw a short line. And now we're going to round the line around and connect it here and around and connect it here. So I'm going to make an upside down V here and here. And then I'm going to bring it around and connect it and around and connect it. Now you'll notice I'm making it a little bit wider. You might have a wide oval already, but mine needs to be a little wider. So I'm bringing it a little bit bigger than my old oval used to be. And you're gonna have to check your work and see if that makes sense on yours. And you wanna make sure that it's balanced on both sides. So you're gonna bring it around and connect. And then we're gonna take our eraser and erase the old part of our oval. We don't need this part anymore. All 
Okay, now pause the video and check your work. You want to make sure that this is even on both sides. You want to make sure that your eyes are even. You want to make sure that your eyelids are close to the eyes. You want to make sure that you have a dark line that comes down from the eyes on both sides. Now, if you've done all those things and it's making sense, good job. We're going to move down and now work on his chin. Let's look at his chin right here. So lions have very powerful jaws, not as powerful as the jaguar. We learned about the jaguar before, which has the strongest bite. A lion has a big, strong bite, but not as powerful as our jaguar. So if you notice, his chin is wider than what we have left here. And his chin forms almost like a square. So I'm going to make his chin a little bit wider. So I'm going to make two dots even on both sides. I'm going to bring the line down just a little bit, not too big. I'm going to round the corners. And then I'm going to bring it across very lightly at the bottom. Now we are going to erase this later and make it furry. But for now, just draw it this way. All right, now erase the bottom of your oval. We don't need that anymore. Now, the minute you erase that, you're going to say, oh, my goodness, it's really starting to look much more like a lion now because he needs that kind of squared off chin at the bottom. We'll give him some fur once we're finished drawing everything else. Okay, so now we're going to move up to underneath his eye, and you'll notice there's a patch of white fur underneath his eye. So right under here, I want you to draw a very soft little line. Not really a line. We're going to make it furry. And we're just going to connect a line around both sides. That's that little part of white fur that's underneath his eye. And this line right here is going to help us to form his cheekbone. So the next line, we're going to take this old circle and we're going to turn it into a furry line. And this is going to be his cheekbone. Right here, his cheekbone. Okay, now, before we move on to drawing the side of his face, we're going to come up here and work on the top of his head. So when we look up here to the top of his head, he actually doesn't have a round top. It almost forms a heart right here. So I'm going to arch this line up, out, and around. Now try to draw this line lightly. The lighter that you draw, the easier it's going to be to erase. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to bring it up like I'm making a heart. And it's going to come around and back. And you want to make sure your lines are even here and even at the top. You don't want one side larger than the other. Don't worry about this line being perfect, though, because we're going to erase it in a few minutes and we're going to make it furry. Now, once you've checked your work and it looks pretty balanced and they're ending at this right spot on both sides, now we're going to come up here and we're going to draw an ear. So I want you to skip a small space and I want you to draw a small, or actually a medium sized curved line like this. You'll notice I left a little space there. It'll make sense in a minute. This is going to be his ear. I'm going to do the same thing over on this side. So you want to check that you're not putting it straight up on top of his head. It's kind of off to the side. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Up, around, and back. Now it's important that you check your work. So whenever I do this, I always end up having to erase because one ear will be higher than the other, or one ear might be bigger than the other. So on mine, mine is about three fingers wide. This one needs to be a little bit bigger. Yours will probably be about two fingers wide because I'm drawing a little larger because I'm working on the whiteboard. Now, once you have your ears in there, we're going to go up here and we're going to erase our old circle that we used to use when we began our drawing. We don't need this anymore. And we're going to very lightly start to erase right here in front of the ear. So I'm going to show you a picture of 
of the lion's mane. So this is a male lion. A male lion has a mane. And the mane distinguishes him from all the other male lions. The darker the mane, the older the lion is. And the female lionesses, which is a female lion, they are looking for the male lions that have the darkest mane. Those are like, in their eyes, the most handsome lions. So you'll notice there's a lot of fur that grows out of the side of the lion's face right here in front of the ear. And then there's more of his mane that grows behind the ear. I wanted to show you this picture because you can kind of see his ear hidden behind this tuft of fur right here in front. So that's a little bit different angle than the lion picture I have next to him. So this one, you can barely see his ears poking out from behind. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add a little tuft of fur in front of his ears. So right here, I'm just going to go like this and draw a little bit of fur in front of his ear. And then we're over here where I erased the lion. I'm going to do the same thing. Add a little tuft of fur in front. And then we're going to make his ear furry too. So we're going to add a little bit of fur on the side of his ear. Now you'll notice, just like when we did our black bear, just like when we did our jaguar, when we're drawing fur, we always want to make sure the fur is growing down. It's not growing straight out. So I kind of follow the curve of the ear. And you also want to draw your lines of your fur very close together. We're going to add a little bit of fur inside the ear. And then right here on the side of his face, we're going to take our eraser and lightly erase that line. We're still going to leave a hint of it, and that's going to help us draw the edge of his face. Now we're going to make his face furry, because you can see it's furry. It's not smooth, like our face. And you'll notice that those hairs are curving, following the curve of his face. I'm going to do it on this side, keeping my lines close together. And then right up here at the top of his head, which kind of looks like a Valentine's heart, we're going to make it furry. So I'm going to go up here and lightly erase the top, following that shape. But this time my hair is going to be growing straight up and then starting to curve the direction of his head. So right here I'm going to erase and make those lines going up, 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 and then starting to tilt around, curving, following the edge of his face. Now right up here, I'm going to add a little hint of his eyebrow. And then I'm going to come right here where that center line is and add just on the right side a little bit of shadow. And then I'm going to turn my pencil the other direction and put a little shadow on the left side. Now that's going to look really nice with your pencil. With my marker, it doesn't really look as well as it does if you're doing a soft pencil line. All right, so once we've done that, now we're going to go down here to his muzzle, and we're going to draw a very light hint of the dots where his whiskers are going to grow. It's going to be like a small dotted line. Now this is interesting. The dots that are at the end of his whiskers on his muzzle are like our fingerprints. Each dot is a different shape and they're able to distinguish which lions are which in captivity by those dots. I thought that was really interesting. So now, once we have those dots there, we're gonna take our pencil and we're gonna flick out our whiskers. We've done this many times before in our other animals. So you don't wanna do this really hard. You wanna very lightly flick a few lines out for the whiskers. And we're going to go under here to his chin now and lightly erase it. And we're going to make his chin furry. Now look at how long his little hairs are underneath his chin. So we're going to come around here, make his chin furry. And you might notice that he has a little bit darker patch of fur right in between his muzzle, I mean his lips right here. So I'm going to add just a hint of a shadow.
shadow right here. And it's a little darker on the left and the right side. So I'm just going to re-darken this line just a hint underneath his mouth right here, his lips. Well, this is kind of funny, but if you look at this picture right now, this is actually a female lion, which is a lioness. We haven't drawn the mane yet, so if you were to draw a female lion, this is what she would look like. So a lion, when they are with a group of other lions, they're called a pride. And there can be 20 to 40 lionesses in a pride. And once they're formed in a pride, they stay together the entire time. That would be like you joining with a group of friends and never leaving your friends, even when you grow up and become a grandma or a grandpa. So the lionesses all stay together in the pride. Now in that pride, which is that group of lions, the male lion, he is the protector. And there might be two or three male lions in that pride of lions but there will only be two or three, usually just one. And the male lion's job is to protect that pride. Now the female lions, they're the ones that go out and hunt every day. So they're actually the lions that feed the entire pride. The male lion doesn't hunt, only the female does. I thought that was interesting. All right, so let's get ready to make this into a male lion now. So we've got our lioness here and she's beautiful. So if you wanted to draw a female, a lion, this is what you would be drawing. But if you're going to be drawing, which is a lioness, if you want to draw a male lion, we're going to add his mane. So the way I like to draw a mane is I start by forming a gentle heart around the top of the head of the lion. So I'm going to start right here and just very softly with my marker, you're going to be using a pencil, I'm going to draw kind of a heart shape. And I'm gonna come up here to this side and do the same thing. This is very light. I'm not drawing very hard, very softly. Now, I'm not gonna bring it down to a point, but I'm just kind of giving it this curved shape. It's not a perfect heart. It's just for me to get an idea of the shape of the mane because it comes from this point of his head and it comes out. And when we're forming the mane, we're gonna start right up here. And we're going to start to brush our hairs going up. So if you look at the top of his head, you can see that his hairs are growing straight up. So right here, we're going to kind of give him a mohawk. And I'm just going to flick my pen up, up, up. You're using your pencil. And then I'm going to bring it around to the side, going right over those lines. And then they're starting to curve down. And you can make those lines really long on this side. And then they're curving now down. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Now, what you want to make sure you're doing is you're curving your lines. You don't want to be drawing these lines straight out. And you want to keep your lines close together. So first up, curving over. around, and down. Now don't bring it down to an actual point. Matter of fact, you can widen it up if you want and bring it all the way off the bottom of your paper. If you're running out of room, you can bring it all the way down like this. It's still going to look real. All right, so once we've drawn just the edge of our mane, now we're going to come in here and we're going to start drawing a few hairs growing from the side of his face. And when I do this, I'm going to start right here at his cheek, and I'm just going to draw a little hint of a couple lines. And then whatever I do on this side, I'm going to match it over here on this side. It doesn't have to be at the same place, but you just kind of want to match it. Add a little bit over here. So I'm going to go to this side now. When I go up here to the top, since the hair is growing up, I'm going to follow that line with a few lines going up. And the reason we're doing this is that way it looks like the mane is actually growing from his face and it's not like he's stuck in front of a Valentine heart. I'm going to draw a few lines here on the side and then underneath his chin. 
And then I'm going to do the same thing on the side here. I want to draw a few lines coming in from the side of the mane. Make sure that the lines that you're drawing are following the shape of the mane. The bottom of the mane, I'm just going to kind of give it a little ziggity zag. All right, so once we have finished drawing our lion, then it's time for us to do our coloring. So if you have colored pencils, that would look beautiful. If you have crayons, that would be beautiful too. I wanna show you how I colored my lion. So I was trying to figure out, should I use colored pencils, should I use crayons? And I had this box of jumbo crayons. I think these are used by little kindergartners at my school where I teach. And I thought these would be kind of fun to color my lion. So can you believe that? My lion was colored with these silly jumbo crayons. How did I do that? Well, the first color I used was yellow. I used almost every color in the box. And there's not very many colors. So I started with yellow and I colored going back and forth this direction. But before we color, remember we have to outline everything with our black colored pencil. And so what I would like you to do right now is once you have your drawing done, I want you to pause the video and you're gonna go in and take your black colored pencil or your marker, if you have a marker, use a marker, and you're gonna do a black version of your lion. So I just use my black colored pencil over all of my pencil lines that I wanted to keep. And then I erased any lines I didn't want. So once I outlined all my lines using my black colored pencil, then I took my black colored pencil and I added a little shading like this on the side of his face to make his face a little darker. This would help his eyes to show the white that we were drawing for his fur. The other place where I added a shadow was right here where his pupil is. I took my color pencil and I added a hint of a shadow on the upper eyelid right here because his eyelid would be casting a shadow on his eye. The other place where I put a little shadow was here on the side of his nose and across the bridge of his nose right here. And I ran my pencil very lightly like this, side to side. And then I added a little shadow right here in the middle. Remember when we were drawing this, I had you do it with your pencil. I did it with my black colored pencil. I added a little bit more shadow up here in his mane <clears throat> and a little shadow on the side of his face where we drew those lines coming out of his mane. You'll also notice I put a little shadow inside of his ear here and here and a tiny bit of shading underneath his chin and underneath his mouth and in his nostrils. And right here at the tip of his nose, I made it a little darker too. So once I've done it all in my pencil, I want you to do the same thing. I want you to pause the video. You're gonna go over all of your pencil lines with your black colored pencil, or you can use a black marker. And then when you're done, you're gonna turn the video back on and it'll be time to talk about color. So go ahead and pause the video and I'll meet you back here when you're done. Okay, if you're turning the video back on, you're ready to color. So we talked about what I used for my coloring. You might wanna use markers, crayons, colored pencils. I used my big jumbo crayons. I started with yellow. So the first thing I did with my yellow is I ran my yellow right here in the colored part of my lion's eye, the iris, the iris of his eye right here. And I put yellow in there first. Can you see that yellow? Then I took my yellow and I held my crayon and you probably have a regular size crayon at home and they will work great. And I just ran it. I skipped a small space and left it white right above his nose. So it looks like he's got a hint of white above his nose. And then I ran my yellow like this, side to side, all the way up his head, all the way up to the top of his head, all the way up to his mane. And I colored everything using the side to side motion over his mane, all the way across his face, underneath his eyes, all the way down his muzzle. The only place I kept white was right here in the center and where his eyes are. 
I did this with my yellow. I pushed a little harder on the eye, but everything else was done really softly, just with yellow. Next, my next color after yellow is orange. I did the same exact thing with orange. Starting here, I added a hint of orange in its eye, but I left the yellow only at the bottom. So orange on the corners, yellow at the bottom. I ran orange over his nose, over the top of his nose, all the way up to the top, around, over his ears, side to side motion again, all the way across his mane, everywhere, very lightly. I'm not coloring hard, just blending two colors together to make a golden yellow. Once I was done with my orange, my next color I brought in was brown. Did the same thing, a little brown in the corners of his eye, started putting a little brown on his nose, all the way up his bridge, a little harder right up here. And then for the mane, I first did a light coat of brown everywhere. Then I went in and started using my brown a little harder. And I started actually drawing some lines with my brown around the side of his face, pushing a little bit harder and drawing actual individual hairs with the brown. Can you see that? Once I was finished doing that, I put a little brown right here underneath his mouth and underneath his nose and a little bit heavier brown underneath his chin. The next color I did was red and I very softly ran red over his nose just to make his nose have a hint of color. And then my last color that I used before I got to black was green. I scribbled a little bit of green over the yellow. When I look at his eyes, his eyes almost look like they have a little green in them. My final color was black. I took my black and I did not use this very hard. I just kind of went in and drew a few lines for his mane around the edge. I darkened his eye and his pupil using the black crayon. I added a little shadow of black underneath his nose in his nostrils, lightly underneath his mouth, a little bit inside of his ears, and a little bit at the top. All right. So that is how I did my lion. Now, if you decide that you want to do your lion with markers, crayons, colored pencils, paint, it's going to be beautiful. I hope you liked learning about the male lion. Uh, I didn't tell you that lions mostly live in Africa and parts of Asia. A lion is, a male lion can weigh up to 500 pounds, which would be about six to eight of you. If you and your friends got together, that's about how big a lion weighs. Also, a lion, if you think about the weight, it would be like if you have a pet cat, it would be like gathering up 50 cats. That's how big a lion is. Another fact that I wanted to tell you about a lion is that they always call him the king of the jungle, right? But guess what? A lion doesn't even live in the jungle. They live on a grassy, area in Africa, it's, it's called the plains. And so if you can picture dried grass, that's where the lions live, they don't even live in the jungle, but yet they're called the king of the jungle and they don't live in the jungle. I thought that was kind of funny. Another thing that, of that I learned about lions is that they can run about 50 miles per hour, which is pretty fast. However, they can only run for a few seconds that fast. So remember we learned about the jaguar and the jaguar was a very fast animal. Lions can't keep up with jaguars. Uh, let's see. I think I told you about the lions uh, living in a group. That's called a pride. Oh, and one more thing. I was going to call my lion a lazy lion, and then I decided to call him a lovable lion. But the reason I wanted to call him a lazy lion is that a lion sleeps 20 to 22 hours in a day. So there are 24 hours in a day. That means that lions sleep pretty much the entire day other than two hours. That's a lazy lion in my eyes. And the, plus, I told you the girl lion, the female lion, the lioness, is the one that does all the hunting. But guess what? After the lionesses go out and hunt and they bring the animal back that they've caught to the pride, guess who gets to eat first? Not the lionesses, the one that did all the work. Nope, the male lion, who's been sleeping all day. He gets to eat first. I don't know. That seems kind of unfair. So I hope you had fun learning about lions today. I had a great time teaching you. I love lions. I just think they're magnificent, beautiful creatures. And I'm having so much fun teaching you. I'm looking forward to seeing you next week 
Our next lesson letter will be J, K, L, M. What will we be drawing next week on Art with Mr. Toy? Hope you had fun. See you then.